Hello and welcome back to Spell Slingers, where we sling spells in super serious manner. Today I'm going to teach you how to take a deck list from Curiosa.io and import it into Tabletop Simulator, customize the deck box to make it your own, and save it so that it's easy to spawn in any game you play. First, we start off by going to Curiosa.io. If you haven't used this before, it is the official deck builder for sorcery, and you can look at cards on here, read about their effects, look at their different versions, and look at their FAQ. There is also a content tab. Perhaps some Spell Slingers content will show up here soon enough. And then, of course, what we're here for the Dex tab. If you go to the Dex tab, you can sort by all kinds of different things and find exactly what you're looking for. Today, it doesn't really matter what we pick. So let's grab Spectral Bears by Emberleaf. Once you're on the deck list, you can see all the cards being played. And right here above the card preview, there's a button that says TTS. So we're going to click that, copy this link. After we've copied our deck list from Curiosa, let's hop into Tabletop Simulator and create a table. Single player, because it's easier to customize the deck box in single player. Load up Sorcery. And then we'll zoom out a little with our mouse wheel and move our camera over with WASD where we can find our deck URL paster. Here we'll see some UI to paste the deck URL into and spawn it from Curiosa. So we'll just click this little window here and paste our URL. Then we'll click spawn deck from URL and the game will lag a little bit while it loads. There we are. We have our avatar, our spellbook, our atlas, and our sideboard all loaded in. I'm going to zoom out again, and I'm going to drag all this to the battlefield where I will throw it in the deck box in a moment. To drag all of the cards at once like that you just hold left click until it raises off the ground and then you move it and then before we move to the battlefield we'll go back over here to the pre-con boxes and we'll hover one and hit Control c to copy it then we'll move over here and we'll hover here and Control v to paste in the deck box and then we'll click and quickly remove the deck contents like this because again, if you long click, it'll pick it up and move everything. Not quite what we want. We can get rid of the pre-con cards. We're not going to use those. And then we hover our separate parts of the deck here and hit F. F for flip. You could drop your avatar into the spellbook. And then let's start moving things into the deck box. Sideboard first. Atlas. Spellbook. Now it's all held nicely within here, and it removes itself in the parts and in the order in which we drop them in, as you can see. Very convenient. Now that we have our deck box here, let's go ahead and customize it. So first, we right-click it, and we hit Custom. Now, if you do this in multiplayer, this window will show up for the host, not for the person clicking it necessarily. That's why we're here in single player. But we'll go to diffuse slash image, browse local files, choose a JPEG that you want to throw onto the deck box, landscape images work best, upload to the cloud, upload to the root folder, and then import, update. Once we have done that, we can see that our deck box has changed and it now has a custom image on it. This could be whatever you like, really. So customize to your heart's content. Once we have customized it, now we're ready to save it for easy spawning in any game we play. So we'll right click it and go to save object. Here we can name it Spectral Bears YouTube for my purposes. Again, save to the root folder. Now that we've saved that, we can set it aside and here, we go to objects up top. Now, 
if you're in a multiplayer server and you're not the host, you'll need to be promoted to access these objects. So the host will have to right click your name and promote you. It's very easy. After that, click objects, click saved objects, and then you'll find all of your saved objects. I have many. Here's the one we just made. Easy as that. Click it, drag it on the table, let it go. Now you have your deck box and your entire deck. And you're ready to play. That's all for today. I hope that helps. And soon we will be posting gameplay, card analysis, and deck text. So watch out for that. Later.